Module 24. Defensive Design When you create your program, you need to make sure it is robust. This means that it won't break when something unusual happens. This is called creating a defensive design. You plan every possible and reasonable thing that could happen or go wrong and you make a plan for how your program will deal with it. Users are likely to use your program in a way you never expected. For example, the people who phone IT support because their coffee cup holder isn't working anymore. Sometimes it's easier with a larger system. Think about a video game. The user can control the dinosaur and make it move around an environment. What could possibly go wrong? Well, the user could click on keys that they shouldn't. If the controls are up, down, left, right, and they start clicking space and enter, what should happen? Nothing? Menus? What should happen if the dinosaur runs toward that building and hits the wall? Should it stop? Should the building fall down? It's your program. Just make sure you plan for it. What about a simpler system, where the user simply has to enter some data and click a button? Well, what happens if they put in data that you didn't expect? For example, the wrong file name. They click the wrong button. If you take these into account, you can stop it crashing the program. You can handle the problems by doing something different, as telling them they entered the wrong data and asking them to do it again. By disabling all buttons that they shouldn't click until they can click them. A common problem might be that the program tries to open a file that doesn't exist. What should the program do instead? How about ask the user to find the location of the file? 